Welcome to Digital Exposure TV. Today I'm going to show you a Mac top tip. And today's tip is how to chroma key using just preview. If you don't have any um, image editing software or one that isn't advanced enough to chroma key, uh, then this is a great tip for you. I'll start off by using this image from our Digital Exposure TV logo. Um, chroma keying is when you cut out the background of an image, like this one here, see how the green is around the TV logo? Um, we want to get rid of that green. So this works for any color, by the way. I'll show you how to use it in a more advanced setting in a moment. First, you need to go to this box here, which should look like a square dotted line. Click and hold down, then go down the menu to Instant Alpha. You'll see a little crosshair appears. Uh, put the crosshair over the area that you want to um, cut out. Hold down with your left mouse button. Drag it out and you'll see as you drag it out, it'll start to make that color darker. Now usually it comes up in red. However, with green, for some reason, it just makes the green darker. You'll notice also where you're dragging it from, it'll have a percentage, mine says 28%. If I let go, it will have cut that away. And to finalize the cut, you press return on your keypad. And there you go, you can see it's disappeared and left us with just thin air around the image. Now, if you want to do it a little bit further, for example, the shadow here, um, go back to your little square dotted thing and go all the way down, that's a technical term by the way, go down to instant alpha and you've got your crosshair again, put it in the shadow, hold down, now this time you will see that it's glowing red as it normally does, like I said with green, for some reason it just makes it look dark green. Oh, that's a bit too much, we go back a little bit, there we go, we've cut out more of that shadow there. And you can always cut out a little bit more again. Oh, too much again. It's okay because we've already cut that area out. Then press return. And there you go, you've cut more out of the image. Now all you need to do is go to File, Save. It will then save that image with no background. So if I double click on it, there you go, no background, just like an icon or anything that you wish to put over the top of another image or video. Now let's try something a bit more advanced. This one is a digital exposure TV background and we want to cut out the background and just get the picture of the DSLR and the lens. Again, go to the square dotted line at the top, hold down, instant alpha, crosshair, and this time you'll see it turns red like it does with the majority of colors, again, apart from green. And now you see if I overextend this, you can see that it's starting to go on different areas where the light is higher on the picture of the camera. Now if I go back again and just get it so that it doesn't encompass any of the camera, which is about there, let go. Now it's cut that out, but you've still got the rest. So all you need to do is click again in the area where there's more. And you can see there, we don't wanna we'll be a bit tentative. There you go, still got a bit of edge around there. It's okay, we can get rid of that, see? And again with that, and again with these edges. Oh, too far. There we go, and job done. All we need to do now is press return to lock it into place. Now when you press return, you'll see that it completely disappears and you get this dotted line around the edges. And voila, there is your camera. And again, you need to go to file and save. We'll close that, open it up again. You'll see the next time you open it, you just have a camera with no background. So there you go, that's how to use chroma keying using just preview. Now preview looks like this here. It's uh, two pictures and a little magnifying glass on it. Generally, if you've got a new Mac or you haven't changed your default settings, it is your default browser for any images. So when you click on an image, like double click there, it will open it up in preview. Um, if not, you can always cl right click on an image, go to open with preview and there you go, it'll open with preview and you can use the chroma key from there. So hopefully that's helped you guys out, especially if you don't have any proper imaging editing software, it really helps out, especially if you want to um, create your own icons, which I'll show in a separate video.
Thank you for watching and as always subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos and see if anything else can help you.